Building a time machine sounds like an incredible adventure. While we can dive into the theoretical aspects of time travel, it's important to acknowledge that it's purely a thought experiment. But let's explore the steps we'd hypothetically take if we were to embark on such a journey. Step 1. Understanding the science. We need to start with a solid understanding of the principles that might allow time travel. Some of the most discussed ideas include wormholes, hypothetical tunnels in space-time that could connect different points in time and space. If we could stabilize a wormhole, it might allow for travel between different times. Closed time-like curves CTCs these are paths through space-time that loop back on themselves, potentially allowing an object to return to an earlier point in time. The concept is highly theoretical and would require exotic matter with negative energy density. Cosmic strings. These are hypothetical one-dimensional defects in space-time that could create massive gravitational fields. If the cosmic strings pass each other at near light speed, they could potentially warp space-time enough to allow time travel. Step 2. Gathering exotic matter and energy. If we could somehow harness or create exotic matter, which is required to stabilize wormholes or create the massive energy fields necessary for time travel, we'd be one step closer. This type of matter would need to have negative energy density, something that has not been observed in nature and might not exist. Step 3. Building the machine. In this hypothetical scenario, we design a structure capable of generating and stabilizing a wormhole or manipulating cosmic strings. This would involve advanced materials. We would need materials far beyond anything we currently have to withstand the forces involved. Quantum computing. Quantum computers could be used to solve the incredibly complex calculations required to manipulate space-time. Energy sources. The energy required would likely exceed anything we currently produce. We might need to harness black holes, antimatter, or other extreme sources of energy. Step 4. Dealing with paradoxes. We'd need to address the paradoxes associated with time travel. Perhaps we could explore solutions like the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, where every possible outcome of a quantum event actually occurs. Splitting the universe into multiple branches. This could theoretically avoid paradoxes by creating alternate timelines, rather than altering our own. Step 5. Testing and Adjustments. Assuming we've somehow built this machine, the next step would be cautious testing. We'd start with small time jumps and gradually work our way to larger ones constantly monitoring for unforeseen consequences. Step 6. Saving the Franklin Expedition. Once we've mastered time travel, we'd plot our course back to 1845. Armed with modern technology, knowledge of the Arctic, and possibly a rescue team, we could intervene to save the Franklin Expedition. We'd need to be careful not to alter history in ways that could have unintended consequences. So perhaps our intervention would be discreet. Conclusion. While it's fun to imagine, the actual creation of a time machine is well beyond our current scientific capabilities. But by engaging in this thought experiment, we can appreciate the complexities and wonders of the universe. Time travel remains a tantalizing concept that continues to inspire scientists, writers, and dreamers alike.